Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Pisces. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. Okay, so at your present place, at your current place, you are the nine of, nine of swords. And this again is a air sign. And so there's a sense here of, of um, getting right into the heart of the matter of something. So you are diving right in. You can see that this knight is um, in full stride, sword raised. And with the sword and the knight of swords particularly, there's a sense of um, doing things intellectually, doing things based on reason and logic and digging deep, knowing all of the facts being very uh, clear with communication and there's a sense of clarity. Um, so moving in, it would seem that this Knight of Swords has uh, the facts behind him in order to do so. So uh, what is the, what, what the Knight of Swords really doesn't show that often is the emotional component. So Whatever it is, you're working from an intellectual plane and from a balanced, fair, clear, clear thinking um, perspective. And speaking of perspective, we have the hanged man here. And the hanged man is uh, a card about perspective. It's about looking at life and life situations through a different lens through another way of thinking you may need to uh, you may need to approach a situation in a different way and this is your crossing card so something requires you maybe to change your thinking for October and sometimes you know there's a sense of sacrifice with this card are you having to take the time you're in suspension are you sacrificing a piece of yourself and that's kind of like what's maybe uh, on your mind a bit. Is that, you know, with the hanged man, there's a sense that um, you kind of think of things your own way and you're happy with that. You have this halo below your, around, surrounding your head. And um, people don't always agree with different perspectives. And so you may get a little blowback from others, but this is a card that says you need to look at things through, through a different lens and through a different, um, different approach and that you have been uh, kind of maybe waiting or in suspension here, but this is something that uh, it's really the hangman goes toward new thinking, new approach. In your foundation, you have the three of swords, so you have been, you have felt hurt. Something has hurt you, whether it's unkind words, gossip, whether it's um, the loss of a pet, the loss of a friend, uh, the loss of a situation, a relationship ending, things not working out the way that you had hoped for, and you just feel sadness. So in your foundation, you have had sadness, and perhaps the challenge for you is to change your thinking with the hangman to get yourself in a more positive mindset away from this sense of hurt that something has hurt you. In your recent past, there's the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, again, very decisive, very clear thinking. Could be within your midst, this could be someone that you're working with, it could be a family member, but is going to be able to give you good advice and good counsel. Uh, Again, unemotional. This is based on facts. Um, there also may have been some type of matter that really required you to look at the fine, the fine print and to do your due diligence, to really be um, aware of all the facts and everything that went into a situation. That's what the Queen of Swords brings. Attention to detail, clear thinking, clarity, and uh, using that sword, both ends of that sword, to analyze the situation, both sides of a situation. What is crowning you is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is very much a, can be thought of a, as a legacy card, where there are 
several generations shown within this card, the children, the patriarch, the couple, and the dogs. And so there's a sense of security and financial security for family so that you've been working hard and either you're saving money for college uh, educations or you're just trying to put money away or trying to improve property but there's something to do with home and improvements to home and improvements to your trying to do a better job with finances and to have some security at home. What's ahead of you is the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is a card of messages of communication and of movement. Projects are either underway, they could be coming to a close, they could be, um, you could be starting new projects, but what's ahead of you is that there's a lot of activity. And that's what the Eight of Wands suggests, that you're gonna be doing a lot of things and that uh, you may need to make a quick decision. Something may come up, an opportunity, a message, um, an email, a telephone call where you might have to act quickly. So just be mindful of that. And again, behind you is always this swords energy, which is before you make these quick decisions is to have the facts, you know, be informed before you do so. And it's a tricky thing when people want a response, but eight of wands, news is coming, lots of activity within your life. Where you are right now is the sun very positive card, happiness, joy. We see the nude little boy riding the horse and that's a sense of being carefree. It's a sense of being open and allowing the world to radiate you. This is also a card of creativity and, and of being inspired to create. So there's a red robe here. It's a sense of pa passions, of um, finding enthusiasms, the sun is the life force. It brings us energy. It makes you feel um, radiant. It brings vitality. It brings energy for you to be inspired and to continue on and to do the things that you love doing. And along those lines, so that's where you, that's where you are. In your environment is the two of wands. And the two wands are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the Two of Wands, it's really possibly making a decision about your future, about what are you hoping to uh, do. You see him holding a globe, and it's a sense of what, you know, what's out there? Am I going to decide to stay where I am, or am I going to think about new horizons and new um, places to go, new jobs perhaps, maybe a new relationship? But this is something that's too often relate to having to make a decision. So here, you may be getting some news that is going to uh, put you in a place where you're gonna to have to make a decision. And so, uh, you know, pay attention to these swords. Don't do anything rash. Be, be informed before you do that. In your hopes and fears, you have the moon, and the moon is about well, it can be about anxiety, it can be about war worry. So there are some things here perhaps that are causing you some anxiety, causing you some stress. There maybe are some secrets and things are hidden. When we see the moon, or sometimes it's an illusion, we think we're going in the right direction, but we're not. So um, you really have to be on uh, thinking clearly to be able to get through the path and to get through these towers here to your desired place. And so when we see the moon, the moon in your hopes and fears, you just have some worry behind this. Whatever decisions you're making, you're, you are generally happy. You have some news. You have some jumping into something. You're hopefully leaving behind some hurt and being able to move on. Um, happy family, security on the right path, and then just this little thing here of, of either secrets are being kept from you or some truth has not been revealed yet. So it's just something for you to think about in October. And then your outcome is the Three of Wands. And again, 
more wand energy of enthusiasm, of passion for what you do, for diving right in. And with the Three of Wands, we see this gentleman standing, looking out over the horizon, bracing himself on one of the wands. And this is a sense of, really, of expanding your horizons, of exploration. It could be that you're going to be taking a trip in October. You're going to be exploring something new. It could be that you're going to be taking on new projects, moving into a different direction, something that's going to fire your, your passions and to inspire you. It also could be that you, uh, some say this is ships waiting to come in, but I think it's much more of proactive where you're thinking of what's going to be next for you. Is it a new venture? Is it a new project, a new hobby? Is it a new relationship, you know, that you're hoping to cultivate? But there's a sense here of travel and travel within the Two of Wands and a decision, but here you're really getting close to contemplating what's going to be next for you. So again, Knight of Swords, you're ready to move right in, to be active, to get involved. You kind of know what you're doing, but crossing you is a sense of having a new, of, of you need to have a new perspective and to approach whatever's coming at you. And you've been patient, you've been in suspension perhaps, waiting so long, and it's just going to take a new approach for you to get over the hump. In your foundation, you have the three of hearts. Some, something or someone has hurt you, and that's been on your mind. In your recent past, perhaps you're simply trying to be less emotional and more analytical and more um, clear and clear in your thinking and clarity and maybe as a result of of this that this is where you get to is is this clarity that the Queen of Swords brings. What's crowning you is family, Ten of Pentacles, security, happiness for generations. You're working hard. You're doing what's necessary in terms of money and um, providing for a stable home front. What's in front of you, Eight of Wands, some news coming in, uh, lots of activities going on for you, so you feel busy, and either projects are coming to a close or you're thinking of the next new project, project which could very well be with the Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Wands. Put that here. Where you are, you're happy, the sun, you're radiant, you're feeling energized, you're feeling you're getting to a happier place to be able to do things for yourself and to enjoy life and to uh, let your light shine. Decisions to be made, two of wands, between a couple of choices perhaps. This could also be very simply that you're going to be traveling in October. You have some anxiety with the moon card showing up, Some something may not have been revealed yet to you, and you'll just keep a close eye on that. And then your outcome, new enterprises, contemplating new enterprises, expanding your life, more travel perhaps, but moving forward to pursue your goals and your dreams. So interesting, um, interesting reading. So what's lacking here as I'm looking is that they're not any cups for you in October. We've got swords, wands, and pentacle and pentacles. Interesting. So the emotional piece for you is kind of off to the side. Well, let's pull a card for love. Let's just see what's happening. I think that maybe the emotional piece got to be too much and you just needed to you need to take a time out in October. This is a retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Well, disconnecting from the world, maybe you need just a day, a day or two, or you maybe need to lessen your social commitments, but take the time for yourself to 
take the time for yourself to relax and to treat yourself well and to meditate and to do yoga and to do things that bring you pleasure. And sometimes those activities are solo and you can find a lot of relief in that. And uh, to retreat, it's really taking a break from all of the hustle and the chaos within our life and the activity. It's really good advice, generally speaking. So time to retreat and time maybe not to think about what has hurt you in the past. Let's get some more advice for you. You are protected, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. So the universe has a way of looking out for everyone to check in with them to see what they need, maybe what lessons need to be learned, experiences that should be happening. So have faith in yourself and have faith that um, you're not only protected by angels, but you're protected by family and friends who want the best for you and want you to be happy. So all in all, I think that this is a, it's an interesting reading for you. And I wish you a wonderful October. And I hope that it's enjoyable and that you find all good things coming your way. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. And if you have time or energy, check out my other daily tarot readings. And I do a, a weekly mind, body, spirit forecast. And thank you so much. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.